Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to try and do a little bit of a haul video for you. As you can see here, I have quite a few items racked up. I have been doing way too much damage lately. Kind of like tis the season, you know what I mean? Like Cyber Monday, Black Friday. I always end up doing way too much for my own damn self. But treat yourself, girl. Just go ahead and do it. Also, you know, after the baby... My body kind of has changed. I am still holding on to some weight, clearly. Um, and I still need to like live my life. I still have to go to work and I still need to be out like sociable in the world. And I can't always do that in sweatpants and a sweatshirt. So we had to like actually buy some stuff. That's how I'm justifying it. Like, girl, you gotta just make it look right and not so tight. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna show you guys some stuff. I have some stuff from Torrid. Simply B and Mod Cloth here. So today we'll just start with Torrid. I'm going to kind of try and zip through it. I'm going to try and try things on for you guys. But, you know, I have a little one. I'm kind of just monitoring him at the moment. So we'll see how this all goes. So I'm going to try and kind of get through this fairly quickly. Um, and, you know, if I can try it on, great. If I can't, I apologize. I will try and figure something out for the future, but we're just gonna kinda get what we can done right now, okay? So let's do that. So the first thing that I got is this bralette, okay? I'm trying to be like, I don't know, trendy, edgy, edgy mom. Um, so it's a bralette under here, it's not the pink one. I don't know, I can't find it, I have too many layers on. So it's like a lacy bralette under here. I didn't realize how much bigger my boobs actually got, so I'm kind of being strangulated, but it is what it is. The reason that I got it though was the strappy bit. I think it is so adorable, like seeing this stuff coming up and out of your shirt. I'm normally not like, I don't think I can pull it off. I'm not like cool enough to do it, but I felt like when I was putting this shirt on that um, it kind of went with it, right? I don't know, I still haven't even worn it out of the house yet, so there's that. But um, it's really adorable, and it's from Torrid. They, I haven't really ever gotten into bralettes because the boobs are just way too like large and in charge to ever partake in that trend. But I feel like, obviously, I'm wearing a bra underneath it, so that's just how I'm going to have to pull it off. Um, so yeah, so that's the first purchase. So I went into the store to get a few pieces. A lot of it I did online, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But I went into the store, and um, they were doing buy one on clearance, buy one get two free. So I just kind of went with it. I went in initially to get whatever. <laughs> this is one of the clearance pieces that I ended up getting. I really got it because I love stars, and I love the star print on this. I really like the mesh detail here up by the, the sleeves as well. Even though I always wear cardigans, so you're not going to see like too much of it. You'll just probably see a little bit a bit of that peeking through by the collar. Um, it's obviously a tank top, but it is giant. Like, hi. So my sizes are obviously going to be different than what they were before because I am, you know, still holding on to some weight. So I got this in a size 2, which was stupid. I should not have done that. Um, first of all, 2 is going to be just a little bit too big. And then look at, like, just look at the construction of this. It's ginormous. And it's so, it's like so long on me. You're not even going to be able to tell, but it's like kind of almost to my knees. And I got this to wear to work. I still feel like I look just, it's too big and I look sloppy in it. So if I can try it on for you guys, I'll show you what I mean. But if not, this is it. I really like the pattern and I love mesh anything at the moment. Um, and it has, you know, some light pleating throughout here. So it's really cute. I just wish I got it in like a zero, even a double zero. And I'm not a double zero. I'm not even a zero at this point. But that, you know, would have worked way better. The second piece that I got was this. This is one of the free items that I got during that clearance sale. Um, it's just a regular t-shirt. I got this in a size 2 because mom ain't want nothing, you know, hugging her curves at the moment because the curves are not in the right spots. So um, I got it in a size 2 and it's just a white t-shirt but it has this adorable little skull on it. Ride or die, baby, ride or die. I really like the contrast of the trim around the neck and the arms too. I just really like that. Um, so I got this and you know, I got this, I did get this around Halloween time. Um, but skulls are like a thing that I will rock every damn day. So I got that. I'm going to leave that here to show you the next piece. This is the last piece that I got in store and I got it again right around Halloween time so that's the reason that I got this is because we were going to a Halloween parade and I wanted something festive to wear. So this is a cardigan with some cutouts that kind of make it look like a skeleton. No? Don't you think? I don't know if that's what they were going for but that's what I feel like it is. Um, 
I'm gonna put it over the white t-shirt because that's what I ended up wearing. I wore, oh, I bought some boots too that I wore that I should probably grab and show y'all. Um, so I just wore this and then it looks like that. Does that kind of look like a skeleton? That's what I was thinking and going for. So maybe, I don't know. But I thought it was really adorable. And again, it was buy one, get two free. So I ended up getting this cardigan. I think it was like $30. And then I got the star shirt and the skeleton shirt faux free. Okay, I can't do much better than that. Let's push y'all down. So the rest of the stuff um, from Torrid I got online. And let's talk about their online at the moment because it sucks balls. Their shipping is awful. They said, hold on. I'm gonna check the baby monitor they said they said that they're moving to like this new warehouse or something and it's affecting their shipping and it is off, like literally so bad it's taking me at least like a month to get clothes that i'm ordering online that's out of control and like so ridiculous and yet i keep buying from them but whatever so i literally bought at the, early, the beginning of october an order i didn't get that until the beginning of november the middle of november i ended up making an order or the beginning of November and three weeks went by and I heard nothing it just st still said in process no shipping update no update on like what is going on so I went on their Facebook and everybody else is saying the same thing like what's happening with our shipping so I left a comment on their Facebook wall and I was like this is kind of unacceptable like can I just at least like have some kind of communication as to what the status is La my last order things just were randomly canceled I never got an email about it like can you guys just like let me know because I've already spent my money here and I'm like wanting these pieces literally maybe an hour later because I posted on their Facebook I got a message back through messenger and they emailed me a $25 gift card like credit thing to use on my next purchase so kind of just goes to show guys use social media to your advantage because nowadays like that's just kind of where things are that's the status of things rather than sitting in customer service uh, on their you know telephone their 1-800 number for like 45 minutes and getting somebody in and be like oh so sorry it's being shipped literally i use social media all the time i use facebook and post things because that's where their other consumers and customers are are reading and they're getting their opinions formed based off of the comments you're leading so i'm not leaving nasty comments i'm just literally being honest and truthful and like what's happening this is not okay do not like i can't wait for a month after spending my money and still have no idea what is going on with my order so as soon as funny enough as soon as I left that comment like I said in literally an hour I had a com I had a message back saying oh this is the update we had to cancel some things sorry about that thanks for letting me know um and here's a $25 gift card and so then I spent the $25 gift card and I'm still waiting for that order so I'll probably have some more stuff to haul if y'all want to see that in the future if I ever get it um so I got these things on online um, and they literally took forever to get here. So I got this adorable little um, tank top. It has some really, um, it's not really cute, it's just basic lace kind of detail. And then it goes down into a chiffon um, fabric down flowy, you know, away from the stomach, which is what I need at the moment. It's kind of like a baby doll, but if you look, the seaming kind of goes up here under the bust. Can you see me? Um, which was really, I like that detail. Um, and then towards the hips, it kind of goes up. So it's longer towards the tush and it's longer over the hoo-ha, which I appreciate because nobody wants to see my fupa. So this is really cute. I got this in a one, I think. Yeah, I got this in a one, nice and flowy. Something that I can wear underneath cardigans because that's kind of my life. Um, so I just needed something basic for work. You know what I mean? This next piece is awful. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Um, and I didn't realize this, but their clearance stuff, if you buy it, you can't return it, you can't exchange it, you can't do nothing with it. I don't know if that's new, or maybe I just don't buy from their clearance items, but it's really disappointing because this looked really beautiful online. It looked really pretty. I'm, like I said before, mesh, lace, anything. I'm really in it right now. So you could see like this piece down here and then the fishnet. This thing is so huge, okay? This is a one. It literally goes to my knees. I'm not even joking you. It goes to my knees. What is this? It's a shirt. It's not a dress. It's a shirt. I can't wear this anywhere. It's way too big. I really like, I said, I really like the detailed. I liked the lace. I love the fishnet, but I just can't wear it. And I don't even know somebody like bigger than me it would, it would be flattering on. Um, I don't know it does have slits down by the side so that would be nice if you're hippie or got some junk in the trunk but i'm just really disappointed 
because it, it looked really promising and like people online were like oh I felt so sexy in it and gorgeous in it and I you know if if it worked then I could see that but nobody said it was giant it's freaking giant I don't know I'm gonna have to try and find somebody to give that to or something because what is it gonna do sit in my closet another adorable thing that I got is this little active wear t-shirt it says kick as on it I just really liked the skulls and like the graveyard scene really cute for working out if we ever do that again in our entire life um or I actually just wear it with like regular clothes because that's just what I do you know kick ass it doesn't even say kick ass which I thought it was and I was like oh I'm a mom should I be wearing that but it doesn't say that so I can feel okay about my decision uh it has a racerback tank um, it's from their active line. I don't know. I just it's really comfortable and I really like the cut of it How it is um, like flowier towards the bottom shirt sweatshirt thing. I already wore I wore it for Thanksgiving I still have like the tag on it Um, but it's really beautiful. I love 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 the wine color of it You can see it has this little ruffle detail over the sleeve. It's literally like sweatshirt material. It's really comfy um, it's a, I got it in a size one and it is a little more form fitting than I kind of care for, but I still wore it on Thanksgiving of all days. Like, you know, you're about to eat some food, you're about to feel stuffed and bloated and I still wore it and I still felt okay in it. So it's not that bad. If you can see like the, excuse me, um, the ruffly bit, the ruffly bit is kind of like a raw edge cut here. So it does have some fraying, but I think that kind of just adds to the detail of it. Um, and I just really, it's really soft and cozy. And I, like I said, I really like the color. Um, and yeah, the fact that it's like a dressy sweatshirt, like I said before, I can't just wear sweatshirts in the world, but I can if they have ruffles on the shoulders, cause I look like I care. So I did run and get the boots that I got from Torrid. I've been looking for, I can't find like black knee high boots that I feel like less of a mom in. I don't know. Um, so I ended up getting these big old combat boots. I really do like them. They're very comfortable. Um, I just, they're not as easy as like throw on with any type of an outfit kind of a look. Do you know what I mean? They have a little tiny chunky heel here um, and they literally lace up with functioning laces all the way up. It also has a zipper inside here and then I guess the buckle does work but I mean I don't know. It, you don't really, it just zips. I don't know. So um, I wore them and I will still keep them because I you know I do enjoy them but I'm kind of looking for like the, a black boot that I can just toss on I have like a very light brown pair that I've had for a couple of years that just are very strappy that I got from Torrid and I get so many compliments on those but I just I don't feel like they're not black so I can't just kind of throw them on with everything and that's kind of what I've been doing um so I'm trying to find like the perfect pair of black boots that's another thing that I ordered from Torrid so we'll see if I ever get those in the mail ever at all so I guess that's it y'all from Torrid so the next place that I ordered from was Simply B I've never actually ordered anything from there or really even heard a whole heck of a lot but I saw a random video on um someone's channel I think it was learning to be fearless she did like a lookbook working with them and she actually wore one of the shirts that I'm going to show you today. Um, she wore one of the shirts that I'm going to show you, which was the reason that I even went to the website to begin with. Um, so it has some, it was really interesting when I was looking at the website. I felt like it was partially like super trendy for plus size and then partially like kind of like Catherine's or something like that. Do you know like where you get the catalogs in the mail and it's just kind of like not as as not my aesthetic I guess so I was kind of like it was kind of a weird mix but they had some really great pieces this top here was the entire reason that I went to the site because how stunning is this it's obviously a black mesh um, and then it has this incredible like em uh, floral embroidery all throughout it it's literally such high quality so gorgeous I absolutely adore the contrast of the colors of the floral print and the blue of the leaves against the black mesh it also has a really cool bell sleeve detail which is like all the rage all of the you know the bell uh, the bell the sleeve embellishments is like what's happening right now so it has the bell sleeve and then it has like a little slit right there um it looked gorgeous on her. I don't really like it on me. I'm so bummed. I think I'm going to return it and I never return anything. I'm super like lazy with that. It just hangs in my closet and it is what it is. But 
um, I'll tell you the price. I'm going to list, try and link everything that I can from what I purchased down below and list any prices um, for the items that I can find. But I have the order form right here because I think I am going to return it um, because, ready for it, it's called the... Oh, it's just embroidery mesh top. And it was $65, $64.99. Mama can't justify that. I did have, I think, a 50% off coupon. So not as bad, but still. I, I There's another top that I'm going to show you here that I just don't feel super comfortable in. So I think I'm going to return that too. So it's absolutely stunning though. My only reason I don't like it... Um, is because of where it hits. It hits me too high up here. Ain't nobody want to see my food, but I don't want that out on display. And I feel like that's kind of, um, it hits right there. So I feel like it just kind of brings way too much focus to that area that I just do not care for. But I mean, uh, tell me, this is not like the most stunning piece. I just, I literally can't. I love it so much. I wish it was just like a smidge longer and then I would be so into it. I just can't for that price you know I just can't I can't justify that this adorable top it has um, again some floral embroidery up here with the mesh uh, I just can't get enough and then this adorable little ruffle um I might try it on again because I just felt like it clung to some spots that I'm not really oh, I just hit myself in the face with the hanger um, it just clung to some spots that I'm not really comfortable with it clinging to at this point um but I don't know, I might try it on again. Let's see how much this one was. This one was $47.99. Maybe I'm not going to keep it. Like, if I'm not wearing this, like, once a week, I don't feel like I need to keep this. Because it, it was expensive. But it's really beautiful. Um, it has kind of, I don't want to say jersey. It doesn't tell me anything on this tag. Um, just made in Turkey. So it's kind of like a jersey knit um, here. But it's like a slinkier material. So I, I don't know, it just kind of clings. And then again, the ruffle and then the mesh kind of yoke area just absolutely beautiful um I really love the, the contrast of the black the dark with the bright florals I don't know it's just it really speaks to me lately so I I don't know I'm kind of on the fence I might try that on again to see the one kind of winner winner chicken dinner oh I did get some jeans um I'll talk about those in a minute I guess winner winner chicken dinner was this winter jacket um super adorable I will try this one on because it's a jacket and I can do that um it's just a camouflage they call it camouflage cotton parka and it's almost like a canvasy material and then it has the hood with a navy blue faux fur I don't know if you can tell how navy it is but it is perfection um it has like the drawstring waist so you can kind of give yourself a little more a little bit more shape because it does go down uh, about mid thigh length um it has you know cute little pockets everywhere where you can hide oh that was how did that even get in there r.i.p this was a, a keychain i had on my key ring and now it's not um really deep pockets um it has all kinds of fun stuff but i really just really like it i love the look of it i love the camel print i'm not it has to be like a certain kind of camel for me to enjoy it and this one i really do i think this is detachable the fur is detachable but who doesn't why would you do that why would you even think of doing that like really don't do it don't do it please don't do it no wait a minute <laughs> so i really liked this jacket this jacket was 107 dollars and 50 cents Honestly, I don't even care because it's my winter coat. Uh, it's not like super insulated, but it's enough. I don't really even like to wear coats. Oh, sad bun. Um, I don't even like to wear coats in the winter. So for me, it's like enough. It's totally sufficient. I love her. She's mine and I'm keeping her. So like I said, I did have a discount code and I think they're kind of like continuously floating around out there. Um, my hair is kind of finally just getting long enough to put it in a bun. So I'm trying to remember how I used to do my messy bun. Um, so I did get some pants from them. I will say their pants were super cheap. They were like, buy one, get one free, buy one, get one free. And they were $14.99. So I got a couple pairs of high-waisted ones, um, high-waisted jeggings. Because they were so high-waisted, I went up. So I'm in like a 16 these I got in an 18 and they're like too big. They're too big, but they literally go up 
to about here they're so high-waisted but they're so stretchy and because they're so high-waisted and too big it just like makes my front end <laughs> looks a little weird but I've been wearing it with like a longer um like sweatshirt because they are so comfortable even like they're I think they're jeggings right yeah they're jeggings no, these are their skinny jeans, but they're so stretchy. I really liked the blue color that it is. And like I said, $14.99. Are you joking? And they have no distressing, so I can wear them to work um, with like some boots on uh, and like get away with it. These are, I haven't yet worn these, I don't think. The tag's still on. No, I haven't worn these. But these are pretty much the same thing, but in black. Um, again, straight, they're the jegging so they they really they go down pretty tight which is nice when you're wearing it underneath boots i don't want like a baggy over boot hang like that's just weird so i really like it to be tight to my legs when i'm wearing uh, like a knee-high boot with it um they all all of my skinny jeans though tend to be too long so i have to roll them up or they look like really frumpy if i'm not wearing a boot so these are really cute again i did go with an 18 so i think they're going to be a little bit big unfortunately like the others were but still totally wearable and still look really cute if you wear it like the right top you know what I mean um the last pair of pants that I got from them was their jeggings but these are boot cuts um these jeggings though they don't have a button they're just elastic waist which is interesting I've never had a pair of jeggings or jeans like that but they do have a really nice boot cut at the bottom I really tend to like flare jeans and boot cuts because I feel like it kind of just balances me out because I am so I carry a lot of my weight in my stomach and my booty so if it's going from like here and down like that I just feel like it's not super flattering for me so I like to have a little bit more volume at the bottom of um you know where my shoes are at the bottom of where my shoes are I like to have a little bit of extra volume towards you know the, the end of my body line so those are really cute super comfy like I said they were each $14.99 buy one get one free I could only buy do that once like I tried to put four pairs of jeans in my cart and it didn't let me get two free so super cute I'm almost done I'm almost done let's get through this quick from mod cloth I kind of just went there on a whim I haven't shopped there in a long time but I had a I think 30% off oh this cardigan I had a 30% off coupon from a mailer that they sent me and I just went on and looked and found some really cute tops in their clearance section for work which I absolutely love so this first piece is again these are going to be more like blousey material because they are for work or blousey type but um it's totally see-through like a chiffon see-through but then it has this adorable i can't see lace embroidery around like the, the collar here and then right across the chest here um it does the same kind of lacy embroidery detail i just think it's so gorgeous i love the color of it it's like a beautiful like emerald green and I think it's so festive for the holidays I wore this it also has sorry it has the lace trim towards the bottom as well I wore this to a baby shower and um I just I really loved it with some black slacks um and it, there's no gaping on the boobs um yeah it's this does run really big I don't know why I did this I got a 2x I don't know why I did that but it runs really big and so I really should have gone down a size and unfortunately with mod cloth 2 clearances all sales are final I don't know why they do that I know they want to get rid of it but like help me out if you don't offer it in store and I can't try it on like that's mean that's rude but I still loved it it's it is a little bit large and in charge but I'm still gonna roll with it the next piece that I got from there, I already wore uh, this one and the next one, so there's makeup on it because that's how I do, um, is this adorable little black blouse. I love, obviously, the neck detail. That's what kind of sold me on it. It has the little ruffles around the top here. It has the tie right here. And then it's like this open area. I don't know. I just really liked it. It looks super cute. I've worn it to work already with a cardigan. Um, and like I said before, I think I said before, I'm always looking for something to kind of go underneath my cardigans that's not just so boring like a black t-shirt. Like I need to still look professional. Um, so this piece is really, really cute. I love it so much. I did get a 2X. It is the Mon Cloth brand. Um, and it, it was pretty... It wasn't form-fitting. It wasn't super loose. It, I really, I should have gotten a 2X. So I got a good size with this. Um, it does have the ruffle detail around the sleeves as well. But again, I usually always wear a cardigan. So that's not something that will be seen on me. But I really, really like this piece. It's super adorable. 
And then the last piece is so fun. It really does have a lot of makeup on it, so I apologize. <laughs> um, but it's this blue and white striped top with a collar with pineapples. Do you see the pineapples? Do you see the makeup? Ignore that. But there are pineapples, and I didn't even realize it when I bought it, but it has like some beading on the top. It has a tie in the back here, which I probably should have done beforehand. Um, but it's like super adorable. Tie in the back and just blue and white stripe. So cute. It was like, it's just so fun. I just think it's like, it's nice to be able to be like fun with my clothing. You know what I mean? Not like super serious and like blouse a button-up blouse and a black cardigan to work it's just like i got so many compliments on my little pineapples being so like fun and i don't know summery but i really like this piece i love the material it is like um again chiffon it is see-through i think all of these are see-through so i always have to wear um like a camisole tank top underneath which i do anyways I, I wear like so many layers it's unreal i don't even know why i've always been like that um there's so much makeup on here i'm sorry if that offended you i need to wash this i literally just wore it on friday so um, but it's really, really cute. I love it so much. They have a red one with like some little apples on here that I really want to get. Um, but I need to slow my roll. I got way too much stuff and it's not even like the end. Like I still have so much stuff coming in. Um, so let me know down below if you liked it. Like I said, I'm going to really try hard to find what I can. Link it down below. Um, list the prices and things like that. If y'all have any questions, feel free to let me know. I know this was like a crazy long video. I'm so sorry. Thank you for hanging in there if you liked it. Uh, if you did if you liked it please let me know down below because then I will know that I you know I should be doing hauls of stuff that I'm buying um it's tough to find the time but I love these kind of videos like I'm so into fashion right now and like shopping with people online because you know going to the store with a newborn is not really something I want to do so let me know if you'll like it and I'll show you the stuff that I get in within the next few days um and yeah that's about it thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one bye guys